Welcome to the Six Figure Business Mastery Podcast, where every week, Kirsten and Jeannie dive into the essential topics to fuel your business growth. From copywriting to course creation, mindset to video marketing, they've got you covered. Tune in for expert guest interviews on all things marketing and business, and learn how to work on your business, not just in it. So, get ready to unlock your business potential and take it to the next level. Today's topic is one of my favorite topics, talking about YouTube. So I'm Kirsten and that's Jeannie with Six Figure Business Coaching and we love helping our clients learn how to leverage video marketing. And I think this conversation we're gonna have today about how YouTube contributes to the economy is going to be mind blowing for you. So Jeannie, do you wanna tell them a little bit about the study and we'll jump into the numbers? Yep. So Oxford Economics did a study. They called it the state of the creator economy assessing the economic, cultural, and societal impact of YouTube in the U.S. in 2022. And this is a study that YouTube actually put out there, but Oxford Economics did all the research behind it. And some of the numbers were just fascinating. Yeah, so before we jump into, I want to define what the creator is, because I thought that was fascinating. So a creator in the YouTube economy, it can be an individual, it can be a business, a charity, a government agency, a media company, music, or more. So again, because you think about all the different styles of video that is on YouTube, so it really does cover a large amount of industries. I didn't really think about nonprofits. Obviously, we think a lot about small businesses because we know how much it can help them. But again, YouTube has a way of helping people actually create full-time jobs. So some people create YouTube channels and that is their job. So it's just some really great information. And the first number I want to start with was like mind blowing for me. It was that YouTube contributes 35 billion, billion with a B, dollars to the US GDP in 2022. Isn't that incredibly, it's crazy to me. Yeah, you know that YouTube is popular and that people go on there to watch videos and learning how to do things, but you never think that they're paying out so much because they're putting advertising and everything. Yeah, there, there's so many different ways that creators make money with their YouTube channel. And it's really interesting because one of the things that people will often ask us about is because we do outsource to the Philippines, that's where our marketing virtual assistants are all located. And people will say, well, do you feel like you're taking a job away from someone in the US? And obviously it is because it's overseas, but for a lot of small business owners, they cannot really afford to have someone locally. So what they would do is they'd end up doing everything themselves and their business would suffer. So one of the things I like to point out is when you outsource overseas, what that does for that business owner is it helps them double, sometimes triple their revenue, but then that money goes back into the economy. So by having, whether that money's coming in from YouTube AdSense or coming in from more customers from YouTube or affiliate marketing through YouTube, it really is affecting our local economies because it does trickle down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So that 35 billion is the equivalent to 390,000 full-time jobs. Isn't that crazy? The equivalent of 390,000 full-time jobs. And we were thinking about like kids that are like, oh, I want to be an influencer on YouTube. And the parents are like, what? It's actually a thing. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're totally right. And when my kids were younger, they wanted to be on YouTube. And I was like, because they were young and I was, you know, uncomfortable with that. But yeah, you think it's amazing how many kids start out there. Yeah, yeah. And I go to YouTube and search for everything. I actually go to YouTube more often than I go to Google. So it really is providing value for people, which I think is why it does contribute so much as far as to the economy is because it is actually adding a lot of value. So let's get to the part that is really fascinating for us, which is how does YouTube and the creator economy actually affect small business owners because most of our clients are not they're not creating a youtube channel so that they can become influencers they're not even really looking for brand deals or even the adsense that's really not what they're thinking about when they start their youtube channel they're thinking about building their authority they're thinking about becoming the local expert in their area and they're thinking about things like seo so they're really thinking about using youtube to help grow their business to help them sell their products or their services we like to joke that the money coming from the ads or from affiliate marketing or other things that come your way is just kind of like bonus money, right? <laughs> For most of our clients. And it is interesting how many of them 
had never even thought about having this other these other passive incomes coming in, so to speak. So that's yeah. been really interesting. Okay, so 83% of business owners who are currently using YouTube feel like it contributes to their customer base. Think about that. So 83% of business owners who use YouTube say it contributes to their customer base. And we know that's true for us. I mean, I think it's true for most people once they're, they get a little traction on YouTube, people actually find you there, it builds no like and trust, and they're more likely to buy from you, they're more likely to become a customer. Yeah, it helps them reach new audiences that may not have otherwise found them. If somebody's searching on social media, that's, or viewing their feeds on social media, that's kind of a hit or miss. But if they're going on YouTube and they're looking for something and you've got the right setup and optimized your SEO, you might be the one who comes up. So it really gives small businesses, even small channels, an option to compete with everyone evenly. Yeah, and it's so funny because we're talking about YouTube right now and the YouTube economy, but when's the last time you went to Google and you searched for something and some YouTube videos popped up? So if you're looking for an interior designer or maybe you're looking for a moving company or you're looking for a handyman or you're looking for something that has to do with helping to take care of your aging parents, when you go to Google and search these types of things, a lot of times videos will pull up. So if you have an opportunity to watch videos, let's say from a moving company, and you feel like you really connect with that owner and they're really giving you great value and education, you're more likely to use that company. Same thing with services for your aging parents. Maybe it's like an adult daycare or maybe it's a, an assisted living facility. If they have great video content, then again, you get to kind of learn more about them than just on their website. And you get to really see and hear from the people who work there. And I think that's very, very powerful. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. So yeah, I feel like some businesses too are lucky because some businesses have things that they can really show that are visually attractive. We joke like as business coaches, it's us. Like there's not really anything that is visually stimulating as far as our content. But if you're, again, a, an interior designer, absolutely amazing images before and afters and the things that you're creating. Things like med spas. If you own a med spa and you don't have a YouTube channel, I think you're crazy because it's great for local SEO, but again, you can feature all of the different services and the problems that those services solve for people. And so when they can see before and afters of the clients, or they can hear more about what the procedure is or the process, they're more likely to book that appointment and come in. So, yeah. And it's great for local businesses because they really have a smaller, they're typically competing with a smaller group. You might just be competing with people in your local area. And so there's a, instead of the entire world that's on YouTube. So it can give you a great capacity and a great opportunity to have your ideal clients find you. Yeah. It can really put you ahead of your competition, right? So if I have a choice of a website for two different, let's say med spas, but one of them has a ton of video content and I feel like I get to know each of the, the estheticians or the people that work there, but then I feel like I'm kind of getting behind the scenes. I'm getting to see what's happening in the procedure rooms. I'm more likely to reach out and call that company because I feel like I know them more and I trust them more. Yeah. yeah Cause they're being open and upfront with here are the people who work here and here's what it's like to be in that at a st esthetician's room <laughs> and here's how the procedures go. So there's a certain amount of comfort in certain, for certain companies that you might want to hire. Yeah, absolutely. So this next statistic is 78% of business owners felt like YouTube was essential to their business growth. Okay. So I think that again, it can be all about brand awareness. It can get bring, bringing on new customers. You're growing your customer base, but at the end of the day, if, if 78% of the businesses that are using YouTube or saying it's essential to growing their business, I think it's something people should really check out because the data is there. Yeah, absolutely. There was a creator in Arizona who said, I learned many practical skills from YouTube videos. I now own a welding construction company, all based off the skills I learned on YouTube. I love that I can turn around and share these skills in my video. Yeah. Yeah. You, I just think it's so funny because I think people think, oh, no one would watch my videos or no one would find it interesting. Or sometimes I think they think about being in commercial mode. Like they think about a video as just being a commercial for them. But I think what makes YouTube exceptional is that the creators, whether it's a business or a nonprofit or an individual, they're creating content that's bringing true value to people. 
So whether that's showing them how to do something or giving them inspiration like an interior designer or even real estate agents and mortgage people, especially after COVID, we realized how many people moved around because more and more people can work remotely. And so it makes great sense to have a YouTube channel for local SEO, but it could also really set you apart as the expert in your industry for people who are moving into your area. Yeah, yeah, I think there was, I think he was a plumber and he started doing how-to videos on YouTube and he ended up with literally millions of subscribers. And people sometimes I think worry that, well, if I show you how to do it, you won't hire me. When in fact, that may not be the case at all. Yeah, his somebody business might... blew up, right? Like his business, he, his business blew up. And even though he's helping someone halfway across the country figure out how to change something, obviously that person's not gonna hire him, but he is getting more local business and growing his business. And then because YouTube does pay him half of the AdSense or a percentage of the AdSense, because he can have affiliate links, it gives him a whole new revenue stream outside of his plumbing business. Yeah, absolutely. But I'll tell you what, we had an issue with our dryer. And so we looked on YouTube and put in what the problem was. And we found that the solution was gonna be too complex that we didn't want to do it because we were messing with electronics and things that we didn't want to mess with. So in that case, yes, we could have done it ourselves, but because of the video, we chose not to. Right. And if the person that you watched the video was local, that's most likely the person you're going to hire. Right. Yeah. yeah. So 83% of business owners feel like YouTube helped them develop a following for their local business. And again, we're creating content, even though maybe your business is located in Florida or Virginia or California, and you can only work with people in your local area. It, it's a great way to build a local following, even though people all over the globe can actually watch your content. So I thought that was very fascinating. That was 83% really felt like it helped them develop a local following for their business. Yeah. And you can be, you know, have some fun with that, depending on what kind of business you are. If you're a restaurant that does happy hours, you talk about the silly hats that people wear or the cool cocktails that they're drinking and you can make it fun. It doesn't have to be all serious, right. uh, but I love, you know, Kirsten already mentioned getting to know the people who work there. I think that's such a fantastic example of how to utilize YouTube because go right to the source. and. Isn't it fantastic when, let's say you see a bakery and you find it online and you see their videos and then you go in there and you actually see the person that is baking and that you saw in the video. It's kind of like, oh, I saw a celebrity. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny because we first started doing videos for my mortgage company back in 2006. And that was, I think the one thing that blew me away about video more than anything else is that people would walk into my office and they were very comfortable with me. It was very clear that they knew me. The problem was I didn't necessarily know them. And so you're kind of racing through your brain thinking like, where did I meet them? Did I meet them through friends? You know, I don't have children, but their kids are different ways. You're like racing to figure out how you know them. And the reality is they've just watched so many of your videos. They feel really connected to you. So that to me is absolutely mind boggling. And I always joke like, like I would never want to be fate, like the whole thing about being rich and famous. I have no desire to be famous. Rich, yes. Famous, no. But it is interesting when people do see you and they say, hey, I've been watching your videos. I really like this video about such and such. It blows my mind. It, it's really surprising, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. And that was a long time ago. That was before YouTube was really big. And But obviously people were still searching back then for local businesses. Yeah, yeah. So this was another one that I thought was very interesting. 80% of business owners say that YouTube is a cost-effective tool for training their staff. And so I was thinking about that in so many ways. So sometimes we'll find a video that we think could benefit one of our virtual assistants or someone on our team, and we'll just send them the video. Or if they're trying to figure out how to do something in a particular software, we'll say, hey, go to YouTube and search it and let me know if you can find the answers. So one thing, to, one way to use it is other people's content. So if there's already step-by-step -step tutorials or guides, then that's where your people can go to learn that particular skill or task. But you can also create training videos yourself and you can store them on YouTube. I wanna say, is it stored privately, Jeannie? Not public, but private? 
uh, you would list it as unlisted is how you would put it instead of public where everybody could see it. If you put unlisted, then anyone with the link will be able to see the video. So if you only provide the link to your staff, they're the only ones who are going to be able to have access to it. Which is fantastic because you think about when you own a business, how many times you train somebody on how to do something. And so how awesome is it to just say, Hey, here's the video on how to do the front of the house, how to do the front of the house things. And once you get those down, then we're going to move you to learning how to do X, Y, Z. And here's the link to the videos to learn how to do that. And here's some checklists that can go with it. But it's so awesome because as business owners, you don't have a lot of time. Like time is your most valuable asset. And so if you can record that training video one time and then let each new team member watch that video, then you're just saving yourself that much, that a lot of time. But they also get to really, they get to know you because you're the one teaching, right? So they get to, they still get to feel connected to you as their boss because you are the one that's giving the explanation and explaining this, the processes and how you want things done and why you want them done that way. So I was glad they included that statistic. I wouldn't have necessarily have thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing, you know, how effective video is because like you said, you're listening to someone speak, you're understanding, you know, a little bit about them, you're understanding how they articulate their thoughts, their comments, you're learning about their mannerisms, and you really can get to know someone by watching them on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and it's really funny because I think the other thing is, I think people who do create content, we all understand that not everyone's meant to be your customer. So if someone comes on and they don't resonate, like somebody doesn't resonate with us, I mean, that's okay. Maybe there's someone else who can help them with video marketing and outsourcing. So that's fantastic. But what'll happen is we really do feel like video brings the right people to you mm -hmm. because they all, they do get to know you so well that they decide that when they buy from you, they're almost sold a lot of times before they even talk to you. Yeah, we have one of our clients who's a dietitian and she told us a story about that somebody had posted online that they were looking for a dietitian. And so a bunch of people commented and said, oh, I can help you, I can help you. And she said, I can help you. Here's a link to some of my videos. And because of that, they selected her over everyone else because they felt all I have from all these other people is just their words. But here I've got, I can see her in action. I can see what kind of tips I can see how she teaches, what kinds of things she teaches. So, you know, that's landed her a local client. Yeah. Plus I think her passion for what she does and her desire to help people truly comes through in her videos. Yeah. Yeah. So I, we were then talking about, so I feel like this is a great study and we'll put the link to it. So if you want to check it out yourself, you're welcome to, but this also made me think about business owners. If YouTube is so amazing for business owners, why do they not use it? And we get it. I mean, it's a lot to think about filming a video, figuring out what your keywords should be for that video, then figuring out how to edit the video and designing the thumbnail. So all the things that go into video production, it can seem like a full-time job, right? It can feel like a whole new job for you. And so that was one of the reasons why Jeannie and I really wanted to focus on helping our clients um, leverage video using YouTube and all the other social media platforms with video, but having a marketing virtual assistant do all of those tasks. So we're actually going to include a link that talks about how you can just spend one hour a week creating great content and how a marketing virtual assistant can do all of those other things. So I'll put that in the link. And Jeannie and I also have an awesome program called the Marketing VA Advantage. So if you're really serious and you're thinking about a video marketing, I'll put a link to that as well, the landing page for that. And it has a, an opportunity for you to book a call. So if you feel like after hearing the statistics that like, hey, maybe I really should start posting on YouTube but I don't even know where to start. I don't know anything about the SEO. I don't want to learn how to edit videos. I couldn't edit a video if my life depended on it, period. So if that's kind of you and you're like thinking, oh yeah, well that's great for people who are younger or who are tech savvy or who have time. No, most business owners are outsourcing those types of tasks. And it's something we're passionate about helping local businesses and online businesses do. So we'll put the information in the description or the comments so you can grab it. And Jeannie, yeah, do you have any last thoughts before we jump over to comments? No, I just want to reiterate, video isn't something to fear. <laughs> we may, we know that a lot of people do fear it. And like Kirsten said, they don't know what to talk about or how to videotape it. And in our program, we walk people through that. 
We're, we have live weekly coaching calls where if you get stuck somewhere, you can come and talk to us about your specific business. So we absolutely love helping our clients leverage video, which is the most popular type of posting on any platform to help. I mean, think about it. Wouldn't it be great if people were finding you instead of you feeling like you've always got to go out and find people who are ideal clients. So that's really what video can do for your business. Yeah. And it's interesting when you talk about the idea of coming up with the topics, I feel like I, I could be like a topic generator for most businesses. It's so funny because one of my favorite things to do is to help people figure out like what some of their topics for their content can be and what those keywords would be. So yeah, we love what we do. So thank you so much everyone for being here. We would love to hear your thoughts on some of the stats that we've talked about. Were you surprised? Were you not surprised? Let us know your thoughts. Thanks for listening to the Six Figure Business Mastery Podcast. If you enjoyed listening to this episode and you are ready to leverage video marketing on all online platforms, or maybe even start your own video podcast, then you need to check out the Done For You and Done With You program at themarketingvaadvantage.com and take your business to the next level.